Hi, welcome back to Wayward Sun Custom. Today is Tack Pack Day. That's right, we have Tack Pack Plus for March 2022. Seems like only yesterday that I was doing a video for the February. Ed oh, wait a minute. It was just yesterday that I was doing the video for the February edition because it was late. Can they redeem themselves this month? Will this Tack Pack Plus be worth it? I guess we'll see. I'm going to flip her upside down and see what we got here. I got to tell you, the February one, aside from being a month late, and aside from the crappy... UN compliant, California compliant, um, let's just call it what it is, reduced capacity AR mag they sent me as a consolation gift and a little sticker. Um, all that aside, I was a little underwhelmed. Everything I could, everything in the February box I could use, um, except for the, except of course for the, uh, and there's what you got going on. Can't really see a lot from right there but uh yeah the plus item yeah i'm the plus item i'm completely still disgusted uh with uh, don't give don't give us a knife and say it's worth 220 bucks when it's not sharp and you can't do anything with it and except for slice your own hands up because there's no way to keep your hand from going forward all right that's february this is march this is a whole new month I know it doesn't seem like it because I just did the February one yesterday, but anyway, I'm going to shut up and I'm not going to shut up. I'm just going to start this. All right. So here's your March edition, March, 2022 tack pack plus card. Just looking over this, I guess we'll see. All right, first up, we have the Next Level Armament Muzzle Device. Packing a $75 MSRP and machined from a single piece of stainless steel, this compensator directs the blast or sound downrange while helping mitigate perceived recoil. Add this to your current slash next build and experience the difference. Made in the USA. I like Made in USA, so that's good. That's good. Okay, whatever that is, takes up the entire thing. I will tell you guys, I was uh, giving a little heads up. Somebody's like, uh, one of my subscribers said, Hey, I can't wait this. I can't wait till you get, um, till you open your March tack pack. And there were some sinister <laughs> undertones in the way they said that. So I'm not. Uh, I'm trying to go in with a clear, laser-focused, unbiased mind. But uh, apparently at least one person out there thinks that I'm just going to go off about this thing. Anyway, the uh, next level armament, linear compensator. I'm going to tell you this much. Oh, as I'm dropping pieces, parts everywhere. Drop the crush washer. Um, that's what the business end looks like. And uh, um, honestly, I've never used this brand of compensator before. I am a fan of the linear ones, though. It does help direct sound and everything that way. And uh, so, you know what? I'm going to say, assuming it works as well as it's supposed to, does its job, this I can use. This I could use. I do build ARs, and uh, yeah, I could I can deal with that. I would not pay seventy five dollars for that though. So their MSRP, they can, you know what they can do with that. Um, yes, I'm still a little salty from the last tack pack. So, but I'm trying to I'm trying to be upbeat. I'm trying to channel my Bob inner Bob Ross and think happy trees. Um, ABKT knife. ABKT 
has become a fan favorite amongst subscribers and they are bringing the heat with this new 2022 model D2 steel G10 handle and a ball bearing pivot system. Say hello to your new EDC. Are you kidding me? This sounds like the American Buffalo knife and tool. That's the ABKT they're referencing. That sounds like the knife that I just did a video on. Just did a review on. Um, we will see. Anyway. Of course, the packaging is the same because it is. This seems like it's a little small. Yeah, this is not the same knife. So I'm glad for that because, well, actually, I'm not necessarily glad for that because the other knife is a pretty good knife. Um, but since the other American Buffalo knife um, was a pretty good knife, I'm hoping this is too. Uh, anyway, this is what looks like closed. And unfortunately, with American Buffalo, they don't give you a lot of information. Um, so, aside from, and Tac Pack didn't really either, uh, the ball bearing system in the other one I had, or have actually, um, works pretty, pretty darn good. And so does that. I mean, that's uh, not bad. This is a little smaller than what I normally like, but I do like the way it looks. And it does have a nice uh, functional pocket clip and it is reversible to the other side and so you've got tip up carry and the ball bearing on this is nice the uh, liner lock is the liner lock um, locks up nice and tight but it's also really easy to close one-handed and a little bit, um, it's not the smoothest drop uh, that I've seen, but it's not bad. And it looks to center pretty much dead center like it should. The flipping of uh, the flipper action on it is just, uh, yeah, I actually like this. Okay, I dig the knife. I wish it was a little bigger, but I dig the knife. And I'm, I'm telling you right now. This is this uh, out of two different models of American Buffalo knife and tool knives I've had. They've both been winners. And uh, let's see if this thing's sharp. Uh, yeah, I like the, I really like the last one. This is some flimsy paper, so it's. All right, that's just me. I picked some crappy paper here to try to. Cut, but it just, yeah. There you go. I think I have some card stuff here somewhere. There we go. There you go. Yeah. See. And now these knives are made in China, but uh, there's. Chinese steel, and then there's Chinese steel. There's Chinese made, and then there's Chinese made. Um, I think what you'll find is when the Chinese make them to sell over here on their own, or they knock off our designs and and sell them, uh, they're usually crap because they use the cheapest steel and everything they can. They use plastic and stuff like that instead of things like G10 and Micarta and whatnot. And then whenever an American company has them manufactured in China. It's a little bit different story because they normally have better quality control. They usually have a little more control over the materials that are used and all that. So if you ever hear me say made in the good China versus the bad China or whatever, that's what I'm referencing. But uh, yeah, I like this knife. Um, that will get some pocket time. Just wish it was a little bit bigger, but I, I, am, st I am slowly but surely becoming Actually, not even slowly. I am becoming an American Buffalo Knife and Tool fan. They're uh, not the fanciest knives in the world, but they do seem to be really well made. They're sharp, sharp out of the box, and they look pretty sharp. 
they function well. So the ball bearing on them, the ball bearing action is, is great. The lockup's great. Um, no blade play. They center perfectly. Can't say enough about them. And you're looking at, um, not really poverty tier, but, uh, not really super expensive either. You're looking at like 50 to 70 bucks for their knives on average, I believe. And so you can't really beat that. So let's see. Next, um, uh, Okay, next we have Yard Pigeon Target 2-Pack. We really dig this clever little item. Mount clay pigeons in this ingenious little system. And Okay, it's made in the USA, and I'm not reading any more because... Uh, where is this thing? Are you kidding me? I, I don't think I have that. All right, this may take a second. I really do not think I have that item. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Are you kidding me? That's what it is. Yeah, I'm not even I'm not giving that any airtime. I'm done with that one. All right. Atwood Paracord. Yay, something we can use. All right. So, um, let's see, it's EDC 550 paracord, it's USA made, um, seven strand iron core, uh, and it's, it's true 550 cord, um, so it has a tensile strength of 550 pounds or 249 kilograms, and the diameter is 530 seconds of an inch or four millimeters, and it is made of polyester and nylon, made in the USA. All right, this I can get behind. Cannot have enough cordage, just like you can't have enough fire starting equipment. And in my opinion, you can't have enough cleaning equipment for your guns. So yeah, I like that. I can deal with that. This, this thing, whatever. Um, okay, let's see what we got next. Fiend oil sampler. Some of you uh, more seasoned subscribers might recognize this old school brand that has made a modern day comeback. Originally formulated for firearm care, Fiend Oil meets mil spec tolerances for heat, cold, and lubricity. When applied after a deep cleaning, Fiend Oil leaves a light lubricating and rust preventing film that makes removing carbon fouling much easier. All right. All right, so. There's your fiend oil looking all sinister. And oh, yeah, if you go uh, go to fiendoil.com and use tack pack, you can get uh, the as a promo code, you can get 15% off. So that's pretty cool. Um, you know, percentage off is always good. Love promo codes, and it's you know, for a sampler, it's decent size. Again, can't have enough oil and stuff for your guns. Cleaning solvents and whatnot. Um, what else we got here? Oh, and of course. And I think one of my girls, whether it's my wife or my daughters, is going to love this. It's the tactical sponge sticker. And all it says as a description for that is, Ho! Or who? I don't know. But whoever decided to do this one and describe it on here, they should have realized it's, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm sorry, I got little kids, so. I, I've seen them all. I know all the theme songs for everything and the characters' names, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. Anyway, my kids will get a kick out of it. It's not the worst sticker they've given, Um this and the Mario and the Luigi ones uh, are actually not that bad. Um, a lot better than their little turkey ones and the little hula girl and all that. Anyway, um, what else we got in here? Oh, we have a, uh, from Bull Moose Tactical, we have 30% off site wide. So, again, promo codes, dig those. And, uh... That's the basic box right there. So that leaves only one more thing, and that's the plus item. 
And the first thing I notice is they have been, up until this month apparently, they've been given an MSRP for the plus item. And that is conspicuously missing. It says, Battle Arms Development Workhorse Rail. USA made the Workhorse M-Lock compatible rail system was designed to be a lightweight and slimline option to be used on mil-spec carbines available on the market today. Functional and badass looking. Have you guys noticed that when I... See, I haven't actually looked at it yet, but I, do, I will say this much. Every time Tac Pack says something is badass... You can pretty much guarantee you don't even have to look at it. It's not going to be. They don't know what badass is. They really don't. I'm not sure they. Uh, I'm not sure they get what bad is because a lot of the stuff they think is cool is pretty bad. Um, it kind of makes you know. Before we get to the plus item, no, never mind. We'll just look at the plus item. I gotta see this rail. Because since it's from, uh, now don't get me wrong, Battle Arms Development, or BAD, they do make some really good quality stuff. I just find, I mean, heck, in my Rising Sun pistol build, I used one of their Glock 19 barrels. Um, they make good quality stuff. They just are often overpriced for what you get, and I think that, bang for your buck, you can usually find something that will do the job just as well or close to it for a lot less money. And so there's a rail. Um, and you know what? I got an idea for a video. How would you guys like to see me do a video on a build? Do a build using just, well, not just, I mean, because in the box you're not gonna get a lower receiver or even an upper receiver. Because that would be too useful. And one would require an FFL and a lot of rigmarole. But uh, what if I did a, a build, a rifle build, using as many tack pack parts as I can? Is that something that would interest you guys? See what one looks like using uh, the parts they give us? Because I've gotten at least a, um, I've gotten at least a couple of grips, a st at least one stock, now a, a rail. And I've gotten uh, mag releases and um, bolt catches, I think, and maybe even some sights. I don't know. I'd have to go through and see what I got. But what if I used just the parts from Tac Pack for whatever I have Tac Pack parts for and see what we come up with? Um, let me know in the comments if that would interest you. Now, that being said, um, I know this is going to be an expensive part, and they, that's why they put it as the plus, because they, they want to say, hey, look, we gave you a $275 rail or whatever it winds up being. I'll probably look it up. But, uh, yeah. And then they're going to say, see what value the plus is? See what you get? And honestly, for the price of that rail, I would much rather they just throw in... Um, a uh, good quality rail that's half that price and a few other parts or a and other part um you know um if they want to go big or go home so to speak how about a magpul prs stock that'd be nice i wouldn't complain about that or or a magpul ubr stock i could deal with that maybe a set of daniel defense furniture hmm um so, yeah, I have that as an idea. That, I, that just came to me. I have that as an idea. Let me know if you guys would think that would be uh, something you'd want to see, is uh, build using all these tack pack parts. Um, something else that uh, just occurred to me is I may be getting a little cocky, but I think I could put together a, uh, I think I could put together a box that is more tactical and more practical than this and keep about the same price point. Now, I'm not saying I think I could just off the top of my head right now do like 3,000 boxes, have everybody subscribe and ship them throughout the country. Um, they do get a uh, bulk deal on these things. They have, they have relationships with certain companies and get a break for uh, including their items and yada, yada, yada that I don't have as I'm standing right here. But if I did a one-off box for the same price point as, a, as the Plus... 
and guaranteed you m- more value than what the, the than what they promise you, who would be interested in that? If I put together a box right now and all right, the Tac Pack Plus cost me one hundred twenty nine ninety five. Plus shipping, and it's like 130 something out the door or to my door, however you want to look at it. Let me know what you think of that. If I put together one and I guarantee you that it has a, um, has say a $200 value and you can get it for 130 bucks, who would be interested in that? Um, cause if there's even one person interested, I may just go ahead and do that. I may go ahead and offer that. Um, like I said, I don't think I could do it every month without cultivating a lot of relationships and getting, uh, I don't know, there'd be a little bit of work to do, but, uh, I'm not really far removed from that either. Cause you know, honestly, there's a few of these, a few subscriptions are really, really good. And then others just frustrate the heck out of me and some downright piss me off. So I don't know. Maybe instead of complaining, maybe I should just do something about it. I don't know. But I will tell you this much. The, uh, they've, they've, they've killed the whole tack pack plus for me. There's no more plus. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm downgrading. And then, um, if the standard box in April sucks, then I'm just done. Except I will tell you, I, in May, they have the Glock box 4.0. Right now it's a pre-order, so you can order it now. And I love the Glock Box 3.0. And, uh, you know, I'm a big Glock fan, or at least the platform fan. And uh, I do a lot of Glock builds and everything. The last Glock Box, I used everything. Um, so I'm looking forward to this. And this time they're offering the Glock Box 4.0 standard and Glock Box 4.0, <sighs> dare I say, plus. So I got the plus. That will be coming in May sometime. And uh, so I will be getting that regardless. But next month, if the box sucks, I think I'm just going to do away with it. There's a lot of other boxes I'd like to try out. I haven't tried out Barrel and Blade yet. I haven't tried out ED, um, Going Gear EDC Club. I haven't tried out the Poor Man's Preparing Prep Box. And I'd like to try out all three of those. Don't ask me about Battle Box. They suck. I'm not doing it. Um... I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm just not spending my money on that. I've seen too many bottle boxes and they all suck. They'll, um, every fifth one will have a couple of decent items, but yeah, it's not worth it. I can get much better boxes for less, I think. Or same money. Anyway, um, so we'll just have to wait and see. But next month I will not be doing a Tech Pack Plus. It will just be the standard. And then... We'll see going forward if I do tack pack at all after that. Cause they've really, 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 really started to chafe my hide. Anyway, um, that's enough of me ranting. Uh, I will try to do something positive. I have a use for this. I'm always building rifles. I can use this. I think, I think this is more than likely going to be overpriced for what it is. But I'm also sure it's good quality. So there's that. Ditto on this. I do have a use for this. I do like these kind of compensators. And I do think that $75 is overpriced for it. So although I do think it's probably a good piece of equipment, I would not have paid that much for it. Love paracord. Can't get enough paracord. That's a win. And... uh these little American Buffalo knife and tool knives. Um, I've got, like I said, this is the second one I've had. And so far they're both awesome. Can't beat them for the money. Highly recommend them. So this is actually my favorite thing out of the box and it's not even close to the most expensive. Um, and then the, uh, the fiend oil, I've never used fiend oil, but again, any kind of lubricant, um, solvent, any kind of cleaning or lubricating, any, anything that protects your guns is a good thing. And you never know how important it is until you run out. So it's always good to have uh, as much as you possibly can. I actually keep it stockpiled, so to speak, just because you never know when the stuff's not going to be available again. Crap hits the fan. It's just like, you know, 
You may not have a rice paddy in your backyard, so maybe you should stock up on rice. Well, I'm also not refining gun oil in my basement, so maybe I should have a little extra just in case. Um, cause nothing worse for a gun than rust and oil prevents rust or at least helps it, uh, prevent it anyway. Promo codes. We got a couple on one for fiend oil, one for, uh, bull moose tactical and I'm not going to say anything bad about promo codes because they save you money. So there you go. The SpongeBob sticker, or excuse me, tactical sponge sticker. Um, my kids will dig it. My wife will probably even like it. So I'm kind of here nor there on it. It's better than a lot of their stickers. So there you go. That is your March 2022 edition. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, hit me up in the comments. Drop a line about what, um, what you liked or didn't like about it. Um, if you think I'm being too harsh on tack pack or too soft, either one, let me know what you think about my ideas for the, um, uh, the, my first idea about the video, you know, doing a build with just tack pack parts to the greatest extent as possible. And also let me, th uh, I was serious about the me doing a, a, uh, I don't know, a dragon pack since, you know, my logo is a dragon. How about the dragon pack just off the top of my head? That's, is that something at least one of you guys would be interested in? I mean, heck, um, you could even, I'm even open to, you could, uh, do your own video and you could review it. You could roast me and be like, Oh, wayward son's an idiot. Why would he put this in the box? Could be interesting. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, you'll have a bunch of links you can follow and stuff in the uh, description box. Um, please check out my extra content. There's a number of ways you can help support the uh, channel. Please do so if you're able to and you're willing. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for putting up with me. I'm a little, I'm still a little under the weather, so I'm probably a little cranky anyway. But Tack Pack is really on my last nerve, so I'm sorry if I came across a little too harsh. And for those of you that wanted me to like start throwing things and stomping on it because you really hate Tack Pack, I'm sorry I let you down. I'm, I'm not feeling up to it. Anyway, until next time, watch your six. Carry on. Wayward Sun out.